everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and choosing to hang out with me i really appreciate you thank you so much how's everyone doing hope you've had a good week so far mine's been okay didn't do much ex except for going to work trying to <clears throat> get around with my meal plan <laughs> did i even stick to my meal plan i don't know we'll see and I will give you an update on that when I give you my new meal plan for next week. We'll see how we're doing that one. But anyway, we've got quite a bit to go through today. So please bear with me. We've got some happy mail and we've got some cash to stuff. So here we go. So before we go on, let's just go through and see how we've done so far this week. So obviously, starting on the 1st of January, we had a no spend day. I didn't spend any money on the 1st of January on the 3rd the second which is a tuesday i bought something on etsy which i will show you which has arrived now which is 35 pounds wednesday i bought some more stuff on etsy which was downloadables i'll print i'll show you those they're printables thursday was a no spend and friday morning after work i went to asda's to top up my groceries and i spent 13 pound 41 i had put a screenshot which i'll put across the screen now just showing you what I bought from Asda's. I just want to quickly just go through my goals for this month. So my goals for this month, I would like to achieve 15 no spend days. So, so far I've only got two, so 13 more to go. I would also like to save 600 pounds towards my envelope challenge, which is this 100 envelope challenge. So this is this money is gonna come from mainly my mini challenges. And I would like to fill eight envelopes. So the eight envelopes are gonna come from my challenge which is going to go towards my 2025 fund so that is the plan i would like to fill eight mini envelopes instead of 50 envelopes like i did this year last year sorry i will be doing 100 envelopes but they range between 5 10 and 15 5 10 and 15 and it saves 990 pounds so i'd like to fill eight for the month of january so that is my plan okay so let's get into some happy mail all right so the first one i'm going to show you this is from madeline budgets I put her channel across the screen. I'm sure they print A6, but my printer shrinks everything. And yeah, so those are all to do with Paris, as you can see, and Boho Savings Challenge. Put that there. The next ones are to do with a lady also on YouTube, Lady, lady Die Saves. I like these because they're blank and hello winter and everything will fall into its place this one is i think to do with fall it could do but it could do throughout the year i love those and these ones i absolutely love they're like right up my street the ch she's also a youtuber i'll put her channel across the um, screen as well as in the description a spa for a day like I said, I want to start dating myself a lot more. So these are challenges that I'm going to do. I had a comment from one of my subscribers. I've ordered myself an envelope for date myself. And I'll put her a comment across the screen when she says she's done it for herself. I thought, right, I'm stealing your idea. But I'm going to let you know that I'm stealing your idea. And she's absolutely fine with it. So I'll put her comment across the screen. And this is also going to go for date myself. And it's all about me today. Mm -hmm. Yes. So all these challenges I absolutely love. And then I'm going to start shopping at Costco to stock up. And these are also from the same seller. Thankful. Oh, I just absolutely love these pictures. Absolutely love them. The next one, they're not quite challenges that are for sale or anything. or But they are on her Instagram page. So I printed them out. This is the challenge that myself and Tasha did last year. And I thought I'd carry it over this year. So we got, she's got every month except, I think the ones that I'm missing is September, October, November, December. So I've already started January and these are like daily savings. So I normally just round up money from my account anyway. But every month you save different amounts. For the month of January, you save £68.50. Her Instagram page is pennies to pounds. If you don't follow her, follow her. And you can see these challenges yourself. And if it's something you want to do, you can print them out. February is £65. March, £89. So it does vary from month to month. I think the largest month is May, which saves you £147. So they're all there. And I just printed them out and got my daughter to laminate them. 
and they just rounded the corners. The next one I got, I've opened all this Happy Mail just for the sake of time. I've ordered from Lenovo B before and mainly her A5 challenges. So I ordered this challenge from her and these are all from last year. They only came this year because I ordered them in December and she's from Canada and they, oh, I just love these. I have blanked out that word because it's not, it's a naughty word. So I was like, mm, no. Um, but yes, yeah, so you just obviously go through, you can either roll the dice if you wanted to, or you could just go through a card at a time. And then that's the envelope for the savings. It's already coming apart, but it'll do. It's fine. I don't mind. And that's the freebie that comes with it. Now, all these are actually freebies. I only ordered, I'll show you what I ordered. So I ordered these from her, which is the Mermaid Service Savings Challenge. It's a pack of three. So I ordered those and I ordered this game. Never have I ever. I've never had a A4 challenge before, but I'm going to see how I can put that away and use it. And that's the envelope for that. So if you have done it, you save £10. If you haven't, it's £5. I have no idea what the questions are like. I've not seen anyone play this, but I'm looking forward to that. And I also ordered these from her. Like I said, the rest are all freebies. She just said to me, I'm going to throw in a couple of freebies for you. And when, I, when she said a couple, I didn't expect this many. So she threw in that one. One, two... Snake Forest, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen scratch cards. That's like one for every month. Well, at least, and I've still got more. So I'm set for the year. Thank you so much. Honestly, so, so, so generous. Thank you, Brittany. Really, really appreciate it. And now the last one, I did spend, I did contact her, sorry, I did contact her on Tuesday and I asked if she could do something different and she did. She delivered, more than delivered. And within 24 hours, it was ready after a few voice notes back and forth and I'm talking about the lovely Esther. This, she made this for me. As you know, I've got two teenage kids, one daughter, one son. My daughter's the oldest. She's getting ready to finish school. And we, I'm going to be saving up for her prom. So we have got that. Now this scripture, I didn't even ask her to do it. But this scripture, I actually, my kids memorized the scripture. Because a lot of things had gone on in their childhood. And I always made them remember the scripture that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. And it's from Psalms 139, 14. So when I saw this, I was like, wow, thank you, Esther. So this was a personal touch that I didn't actually ask her to do. Really, really appreciate that. And so we got the dress. Oh, sorry, we got the index. We got dress, nails, hair, makeup, jewelry, shoes, transport, miscellaneous. Just in case I forgot something. So we got dress. I love these pictures because, like I say, they're just up my street. Nails. And every picture has got a sunflower. Hair, makeup, jewelry. I just love this. I think it's so cute. The colors. Shoes. She's actually looking down at her shoes, I take it. Transport. She's like she's waiting for someone to pick her up. I love it. And miscellaneous could be anything. Absolutely love this. And that is it. So behind everything has got an envelope where you save the money in. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I am so, so grateful. Thank you so much, Esther. Honestly, I couldn't thank you enough. All right. Without further ado, let's get some cash going. Okay. So this is actually for my side hustle. Because I did say to you I will be side hustling badly this year because I need to reach my target. And I had managed to sell some stuff as well as market research. So we've got 240, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 
60, 80, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so there's a couple of things I like to finish. And as you saw from my goals that I need to save 600 pounds. Also, my plan for the 100 envelope challenge, it saves 5,050. What I've decided to do is do a tracker. So it saves 5,000 pounds in 26 weeks. My plan is to finish this one in end of June, but I want to try and push myself to finish it end of May. So, so far I've got 1,300, so that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. You're supposed to clear one every week, but every month, every week I'm claiming I want to do at least two. So that half set, um, even if it's a 50 and a one, that's still progress, if that makes sense. But obviously I want to try and target the big ones so that all I'm left with is the small ones. So if I do manage to save the 600 pounds, I could put the, the two threes or I could put three twos. The more I color in, the better it is. But obviously the bigger, the bigger ones are knockoff even quicker for me. So that is it. Right. So that's something I want to do for the month of, well, for the next few months. Right. Let's see. So the first thing I want to do is complete this challenge. Right. I think we are on September. Do we owe any money for September? No, we don't. October. Yes, we do. We owe three pounds plus we've got one scratch left. Okay, so we've got three pounds which we owe. So let's see how much we the scratch is and then we'll take it from there. Right, so that is another three pounds. So we owe three pounds plus three pounds. That will make it six pounds. Now we know we don't have six pounds. Let's just add up how much this comes up to. Right, so 46 pounds. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40. We don't have the 46, so we'll come back to that. Let's see what November is. The plan was to always finish this challenge at the end of February, but I've got no patience. I've got so many annual challenges that I want to do. Let's go. Okay, so we have got 12 plus 8 is 20, 27, 29, 30, 34 pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 40 pounds in here. And that covers the 6 pounds from the previous challenge from October. And then we got the last one, December. Apparently this challenge adds up to 500 pounds. What we will do is count the money at the end to make sure that I've saved everything correctly. Right, December. All right, so we got 15 plus 10 is 25. Um, plus seven is 32, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So we don't have that, so we just put 40 pounds in. I'm pretty sure I owe money somewhere. Right, so let's just empty out this because now this challenge is complete. This is for my coins, and if I am short, I'll add it to this. If I am over, I'll take it out of that. All right, let's get this going. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 93. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. All right, so I am short. 25 pounds
that should hopefully save the 500 pounds i don't know how i've done it though let's just let me just count that again 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 80 93 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500. Yep. So that is correct. So I will put the next annual challenge in there. And then this one is ready for end of the month allocation, which then goes into my box of completed challenges, which is in there. All right, so all my completed challenges go in there, and once a month I allocate everything together. Forty-five pounds into my monthly binder. Right, let's see what we can finish off in this binder. So to finish off this challenge, we need ten pounds. Right, so this challenge saves 40, so I've got 20, 30, 40, which is correct, and it is now complete. So that goes into the box. I'm going to keep that envelope in there, so that's why I'm putting it in a separate envelope. So that will go into my completed box, put that there for now. And let's just do this one, Happy New Year. And in order to complete that, we need five pounds. So I'm gonna take these fives, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna change that. So we've got 20. And I'm gonna put five pounds in there. So this saves 28 pounds, which is correct. That's another one completed, goes into my box. We're not going to do roll and save today because I want to try and finish as many as I can. And then this one from My Many Matters, which is a subscription one, we need five pounds for that. And this should make it 24 pounds. Let's see if it's correct. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yep. 20 pounds and 24p. That's correct. All right, so that's done. And what else needs finishing? Oh, duvet day. How much do we have to complete this one? 15 pounds, do we have that? Yep, we can complete duvet day. 15 pounds. And that saves 30 pounds. So 10, 20, 30. So I'm gonna put those two tens there and take up that. I'll put that there to dry. Oh, this one needs 10 pounds. That's all I've got left, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, let's do that one then. And then I can, as long as I finish these ones, the rest, the rest of them in the month of January, it is fine. All right, so that's what we have left, is these ones. And the penny and the pound challenge. Okay, so we're going to go into our mini binder now. I realized I hadn't changed the date, so I've changed it now. My days, this, uh, this video is long. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is my mini binder. Right, so how much do we have left? 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. That's fine. Perfect. We're going to do the scratch with the 90 pounds. Bear with me. Right, so I've taken 70 pounds instead. So we'll just do 70 pounds. 
So I'll put the 20 pounds over there for now. So we just use that 70 pounds. We're gonna do the same thing that we did the last time. I don't know how much these are, but what I am gonna do is round it up, round it down to the nearest five because some of them don't take coins. So we have got 11 challenges in here because number 12 is completed and gone. So even though I'm rolling a 12 sided dice, it will still be 11 challenges we're looking at. So if we get 12, we roll again. Okay, so I do know that it's pronounced die. I just prefer to say dice because like frugality's life said, who wants to think of dying when you want to have fun on challenges? So for the sake of the video, please just bear with me. Number one. Okay, right. So then we, what we do is we scratch just a random amount. So it'll be eight pounds. So instead of eight pounds, I will put 10 pounds in there. Okay, so that is the 70 pounds allocated and that is done. Right, the remaining 20 pounds that we have, we will put it towards our 1K savings challenge. So we have completed section two, we've completed section three, we've completed section four. So we are working on section five. And I will put the 20 pounds in there. This challenge, I would like to complete it end of February. And it saves 1,000 pounds. Okay, and so that is it from me. I do apologize once again for the long video. We had quite a lot to get through. So I do thank you for bearing with me. I really, really appreciate it just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for your um, continued support i really really appreciate it thank you